students are coming together and building for a cause, bees are buzzing around town, and we say goodbye to a local San Marcos music staple. All that more coming up next on Studio A. From pit bulls to scholarships, these nonprofit organizations come from all over the city trying to raise money and awareness. Despite their best efforts, members still find themselves having to sort out trash on a daily basis. In addition to Springdale Farm, there are three others within walking distance, and they all benefit from the great riverbed soil. More than ever, bonds are formed electronically, and it's rare to see anybody not glued to their phones. It runs rapid and is a staple of the city. The city of San Marcos celebrated the annual river cleanup in an effort to bring the community together for a greater cause. I think it's really important that we set an example, uh, that we communicate to the public how important it is to uh, keep the river clean and not just on this day clean it up, but year round. Organizations from all over the city and the country came together on this day to clean up not only the river, but the streets as well. What we're trying to do, we're trying to re-educate society onto the importance of safeguarding our Mother Earth. The San Marcos River is home to four different endangered species that are found in no other place on Earth. One of the things that's very important uh, is removing as much litter from our entire community, uh, to have more of a sense of respect for ourselves and for our environment and the place that we live uh, and improve our quality of life. Every day, a group of students circle campus picking up food waste from bins. The students of Bobcat Blend are collecting and sorting discarded food scraps to be made into high-quality compost for local farmers and agriculture classes. The amount of food waste that's from the cafeteria that we don't eat, it's, cr it's a crazy amount that we that kids don't eat. The food scraps are taken to a site off campus where they get blended and made into compost. To replace the commercial fertilizers would be ideal, not only to support sustainable farming, but to you know, save the environment. Once completed, some of the final product is dumped back on campus and used as soil. It feels really rewarding knowing that it's not going to a landfill, it's going to something that's going to make soil for, for generations. Despite their best efforts, members still find themselves having to sort out trash on a daily basis. If you're going to throw something away, please read the sign on the bin. There's regular trash, there's recycle, and then there's compost. Saving the world with one food, bin of food waste at a time.